switch this over sure. so that we can see it in between. Okay, now I'm going to give this, I'm gonna turn it around so that ginger, when you're um, looking at it, there you go. All you need to do is point it at what you want. Are you guys? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi, Instagram. Hi. <laughs> now, would you like to, you can always like come over here and be able to and get the screen as well. I know you, you, you might be in the screenshot for the Instagram, yes. but just so that you can see. Yep. There we go. Otherwise, what we can do, we can always move this laptop over someplace so that it's kind of like, you're out of frame there, I think, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, she's got it. Okay, that works. Now we can see Bridget. <laughs> I got, just so you know, Bridget, I see you here up. Can you tell? There you go. Great yeah. job, Jack. So you want and me to if work? If anybody else's phone is working, you might just want to check to see if we're on Facebook because sometimes it's been giving us a little bit of glitchiness. Oh, it says that you guys are live. Okay. Fantastic. Oh, oh cool. Excellent. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Hi, Corey. <laughs> you can do whatever you want as far as just like roaming around because it's going to be pretty organic. Okay. Okay. I know everything with the all the airwaves and such. There you are. There we are. Hold this and don't move it, okay? Hold on up. <laughs> my internet's being very strange right now. Hi, Mia. Hi. How are you? Good. Doing okay? How are you? I'm doing okay. How are you, Jacko? I'm good. How are you? So on Facebook, <laughs> um, do we have like interaction here? Because I um. I it I'm on my like phone on Zoom, Jen, but I, I'm trying to, should I get off of this and go on to Instagram, or how should, I, I was trying to get Instagram on my computer, but I'm having some difficulties. Um, if you can go on Zoom on your desktop, you because you won't be able to do it since Instagram is predominantly mobile. Right. Um, yeah, so you'll want to switch. Okay, well, I tried putting in the Zoom ID, and I had a, some trouble with Okay, well, sorry. No problem. Okay. Technical difficulties. Mia, come over here, babe. Stop. I'm sorry. Can I make it easier for you? Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, everybody, who's starting to join us. We are um, navigating through. We're, we're trying to do something a little bit innovative today. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Rochelle. What's, the Zoom, What's the Zoom meeting number? Yeah, maybe she can join in on Zoom. Oh, um, that's a good question. I don't have it in front of me, but maybe somebody else who's on the Zoom can can share that share with us. That. Yes. Uh, let's see. Um, invite email. If Rochelle gives me her email. Copy invitation, and I can try doing this this way. Thanks for being patient, everyone. We're gonna start very soon. Sorry about the yeah. dog. The the yard guy shows up every time at this hour. Yeah. Okay. Can you? Sure, sure. <laughs> You should, she'll listen to you if you. You got the Zoom number. So that's the Zoom ID number. If you 
want to join in? Thanks, Leah. Can you keep that up for just a second, Leah? Sorry. Of course. Sure thing. Thank you. And I don't think that there is a password associated with the Zoom. I think anybody who wants to join us can. Um, they might just want to mute themselves or um, if they'd like to speak with me, volunteer at your faces, that's totally great. Um, but as we're going to get into the book reading, it would be wonderful if uh, anybody who does join us can just be on mute. On mute? Mute? <laughs> mute? <laughs> on, um, on the Zoom call. So we're, we're literally trying to do this. Oh, hi, Michelle. We're literally trying to do this on Zoom as well as Facebook Live and Instagram Live all at the same time. So this is, this is new for us. having a hard time, Jen, because um, I can join from the link on my phone, but I can't get in on my computer, and I'm so sorry. That's okay. Um, Zoom has revolutionized the way teams communicate. <laughs> Hi, Rochelle. Hey. Hi, Malcolm. Hi, teacher Rochelle. How are you? Good. Okay, um, let's see. Sorry. I might. Hmm. Hi, Don't. Kyle. Hi. Hi, Kyle. Hi, to Teacher Rochelle. Where's he? Oh. Oh. Yeah, I think it's probably because um, if you have the app downloaded to your mobile phone, it's easier to do it that way. But if not, then I think your web server, I'm not, I'm not quite sure. I'm just trying to get on Zoom on my computer and then split the screen with you on Instagram. Oh. But that's not what we're doing, right? We're supposed, we're supposed to just stay like this. Okay, wait. Jack's helping me. I have technical support. Excellent. There's nothing like 11 year old tech support. It's the best <laughs> in the entire world. Right. Um, see? Yeah. So, um, hi, Brittany. Hi, Brittany. So great to see you. Thank you, everybody, for your patience. I know that there's a bunch of people that have just joined us on Instagram. You're probably wondering what the heck we're doing talking to our books down here. But um, essentially, we wanted to make sure that. Um, as many people have the opportunity to watch our live stream here as possible. Did um, our live stream end on Facebook? Yeah. I think Facebook kind of Yeah. Um, the reason why we're doing this is because Facebook has been a little bit glitchy with its live streams lately. I think that they just have a lot of traffic going on to their um, to their platform, and so um, we have Facebook. Hi, Jenna. On. We have um, Zoom being run, and we also have Instagram Live coming on here. So, with that, um, what I'll do is just uh, you know get everything rolling. We're essentially just getting everybody online and um, technically kind of set with uh, how we want to do our screen shares. In the meantime, I want to just wish everybody a happy Friday. We made it through another week, didn't we? <laughs> it's been a really, it's been a crazy, crazy week, but um, we're really happy that. Uh, you know, everybody is happy and healthy, and the homeschooling seems to be going relatively smoothly. <laughs> but I think that parents are probably happy that uh, it's almost the weekend. At any rate, uh, my name is Jennifer Norman. I am one of the authors, as well as the um, publisher of the Super Captain Brave Man children's book series. And we are going to be joined momentarily by um, some very special guests. Um, the first guest that will be joining us um, is going to be a woman named Kara Armstrong with her awesome children. She's actually trying to get onto the Instagram. I think, I think we did it. Oh, okay. So if you are able to send us a request, Kara, to be added to our live stream, uh, we might need to just switch the live stream, split screen from uh, the Lodovico house over to uh, Kara Armstrong. Yeah. And when we're able to do that, we'll um, our Instagram uh, family will be able to see what's going on there. 
So um, we have uh, Victor, who's over at our camera. <laughs> Helping out with that, yeah, we all have dogs. <laughs> and so um, the reason why we wanted for um, Kara and Mia and her son Jack to, uh, to join us is because this book that we are about to read actually features them. And we're super, super excited and we, we really wanted to give you the opportunity to meet them uh, during this, uh, this live stream call so that uh, we are, you know, all together as a family and are able to kind of, you know, see everybody. How's it going over there on the Instagram? We're on. Fantastic. Okay. Good. Okay. Here we're we are. going together. live with Mia. Great. And so, Kara, I don't see you right now on the Zoom call. So we're going to switch over and then have Ginger actually film the Instagram feed. Um, so we're going to pull the phone over so that we're, yeah, we've got a tunnel. We've got, we're going to develop a little vortex here. <laughs> we've got a, we're going to have a little bit of an interesting vortex going on. So thank you all for, for taking a look. Um, but uh, Kara, why don't you introduce yourself and your kids and tell us all about them. That's one of my favorite parts, too. What other things do you like to do? I like to slide on the slide. And me and my brother. What, what fun activities did you do before? 
before the world closed down. <laughs> you do. You started something that you've always wanted to do. Gymnastics. Gymnastics. Very good. gears over on our Instagram and try to get um, Leah up on our Instagram so that uh, we can have her actually do the, the book reading for our for our fans there. We do have her on our Zoom. Hello, Leah. Hello. And uh, just to, because I, I never do you enough justice, <laughs> but I want to, I just want to, I want to toot your horn for a, a quick moment. Leah is um, an amazing nurse. She's an amazing LVN who has been taking care of Kyle um, and works every weekend with Kyle, taking care of him and making sure that he is, he's, you know, in good health and in good care. And, um, but she has also been this most incredible bookworm and has turned her love of books into authorship. And so she actually, along with Paul Norman, who is Kyle's father, has actually um, written, uh, you know, was the main, the main author, as you can see, of this particular book. And uh, so she gets all the accolades. This is an award-winning book. It just won a Mom's Choice Award, um, a gold one. I think that there are several different uh, types of awards that they offer, but the gold is the highest. And we're super, super proud of the fact that um, this particular book has, has won a um, Gold Choice, Mom's Choice Award, as well as is our best-selling book. So there you go. And Leah not only is a great author, but she is also somebody who is extremely creative and, um, and talented <laughs> as far as her ability to have just this most incredible voice. She uses her voice and sings to Kyle morning to night. And she also has taken up, um, her most recent activity has been to sew face masks for, the, um, for those that are in the medical field right now to help to donate um, amazing uh, handmade face masks. There you go. She's modeling one right now. <laughs> and uh, all sorts of snazzy patterns and, and different styles. And we just appreciate her so very much for being so thoughtful and selfless when it comes to um, people who are in need. So with that, I am going to turn it over to Leah so that she can read to us aloud. And then we are also going to be doing a little bit of page turning over here. Do we have you up on Instagram over there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah that was wrong. Okay. I'm gonna put um, Kara on mute, on mute because I think that there's a little bit of an echo. Forgive, Kara, but I'm just gonna put you on mute for a second so that we can turn it over to Leah, and she'll be doing our book reading, and uh, we'll be doing some page turning on our end. All right, so. Hello, everyone. Okay, let's get into it. If I start reading too fast, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first book reading, you guys. I usually don't do this thing. <laughs> so, 
The Adventures of Super Captain Brave Man, Book 4, Down on Safari. Kyle and his big sister, Honor, are finishing breakfast in the kitchen. Today is a special day. Are you excited about your field trip, Kyle? Honor asks. Yup. Our class is visiting the Natural History Museum. We'll see all sorts of dinosaurs there. Kyle holds up a toy dinosaur for his pets Mochi and Hershey to see. He turns to his sister and smiles. I'm so glad you volunteered to come along. Honor laughs. You know I never miss one of your field trips. Let's go. Kyle beams. I can't wait to ride the bus. Honor helps Kyle onto the school bus and sits him next to his friend Jack. It's really cool that your sister comes on our field trips, Jack remarks. She started joining my classes when I was little, Kyle responds. She loves to help, and I love having her with me. Maybe when I'm older, I'll volunteer for my little sister's field trips, Jack smiles. You have a sister? Kyle asks. Yeah, Jack answers. Her name is Mia. She and my mom are going to pick me up at school later. You can meet her then. Before Kyle can reply, their teacher turns towards them and, um, and announces, We're here, kids, the National History Museum. The students make their way into the museum's grand hall and through the exhibits. Honor, Kyle, and Jack gaze up at the skeletons in the dinosaur room in quiet amazement. Whoa, Kyle gasps. Look how big. They must have been so strong. Almost as strong as you, Honor teases. Ha <laughs> ha, Honor. Kyle gives his sister a silly look. Come on, Kyle, Jack urges as the class exits the room. I can't wait to get into the Hall of Insects. The class is amazed at all the insects in the museum collection. Yay, Jack smiles. He eagerly steps up to a large glass case filled with dirt and small tunnels. The ant exhibit. Look at all, all the different kinds of ants, Kyle. I thought ants were all the same. Lots of people think that, but each one can do different things that help them all live happily together, Jack tells Kyle. Honor and Kyle wander over to see the big flowers of it. Jack lingers back at the ant place to watch as they find orange twigs and nuts through the tunnels. Just then the teacher announces, it's time to go now, kids. Let's get back to the bus. Jack, Kyle calls to his friend, it's time to go. You don't want to be stranded here by yourself, huh? Jack looks up and notices the class leaving the room. Oh, okay, I'm coming. <laughs> the, the bus makes its way back to the school grounds. That was so much fun, Kyle says. We really learned a lot. Look, my mom's here. Jack points as they pass by the playground. And there's my sister, Mia. Hey, she's really good at swinging on those monkey bars, Kyle remarks. She's really good at a lot of things, Jack adds proudly. Once off the bus, Jack makes introductions. Mom, Mia, this is Kyle and his sister, Honor. Jack's mom smiles. Hello, I'm Kara, she says, and this is Mia. Kyle waves and greets the little girl. Hello, Mia. He is always eager to make a new friend. Hi, Mia responds. I like your wheelchair. The red makes it look really cool. I have red glasses. It's a great color, right? Her words pour out as the grin lights up her face. Then, unexpectedly, Mia darts toward the monkey bars. Mia, Kara laughs. Please excuse me, boys. I gotta catch up. Whoa, she sure runs off fast, Kyle comments. She does that sometimes, Jack giggles. It's called bolting. My dad says it's common with kids who have Down syndrome like Mia. Down syndrome? Kyle asks. Yeah. It's something Mia was born with. Like the color of her hair, Jack says. It makes her extra special. Jacko, school is done. Time to play. Come swing with me, Mia calls out. Just for a few minutes, Mia, Jack calls back. Then we can walk home with Kyle and Honor. Kyle turns to Honor and whispers, Do you think it's okay to ask Jack's mom about Down syndrome? I haven't heard of it before. Absolutely, Honor answers. On the way home, the boys discuss all the things they saw at the Natural History Museum. Then Kyle decides to ask Kara his question. Mia's the first person I've met with Down syndrome. Can you tell me more about it? 
Of course. Kara is happy that Kyle wants to know more. When Mia's dad and I learned that Mia was going to have Down syndrome, we wanted to know as much as we could, and we wanted Jack to learn about it too. People are made up of billions of cells, which are too small to see without a microscope, Kara explained. Inside those cells are chromosomes that contain thousands of genes. Oh, my dad told me about genes, Kyle remembers. They're not like the genes we wear, though. They're spelled G-E-N-E-S. He said that our genes are like secret maps of how our bodies are going to turn out. My map has parts that make my body really tired, so I need a wheelchair to move around and a ventilator to help me breathe. Car nods. Exactly. In our family, we think of chromosomes as beautiful marbles. Before a baby is born, the baby normally gets 23 marbles from mom and 23 marbles from dad. That makes a total of 46. No two marbles are exactly alike. That's why everyone looks, acts, grows, and develops differently. Down syndrome is caused by having an extra marble. Instead of 46, people with Down syndrome like Mia have 47 marbles. That extra marble is the reason why Mia looks and talks a little differently, sometimes takes longer to learn new things, and might act in a way that is unique from most kids. That extra marble has given Mia some extra special things. She is very sensitive to how people feel, and she loves others with her whole heart. Mia is determined and independent. She can do just about anything she puts her mind to. That's why in our family, we say Mia was born with a new magic marble. Kyle is really happy that he knows more about Down syndrome now. Later that evening, Anna helps Kyle get ready for bed. What did you think of the museum? She asks. I liked it a lot. Kyle responds, but meeting Mia was the best part of the day. Jack and I have something in common, Honor says. We both have younger siblings with special needs. Jack and Mia are always finding ways to help each other. Kyle gives his sister a hug, just like you and me. That's right. Now it's time for bed. Honor kisses Kyle's head. Sweet dreams. I can't wait to hear about your next great adventure. That night, Kyle thinks about his day at the museum and meeting Mia as he falls into a very deep sleep. Not before long, he starts to dream. Kyle dreams of the many animals he learned about and the places where they live. He imagines he can hear sounds of birds singing and hooves beating on dry dirt. The sounds are soft at first, then they grow louder. Kyle dreams that he turns into... Super, Super Captain, Captain Brave Man! Super Captain Brave Man is so courageous he can do anything. He never tires and is never afraid. He comes to kids rescue when they are feeling sad, unwell, or scared. With Super Captain Brave Man as your friend, you'll discover your own power to become a hero too. Swish! Super Captain Brave Man rises over a vast open plain. In the distance, he can see the green of a lush jungle and the blue of a river that runs through it. Animals of all kinds wander toward the water. A family of cheetahs races toward the edge of the jungle in a cloud of dust. Noticing a figure running with the cheetahs, he drifts down to see who it is. It's Mia. Hi, Mia. Super Captain Brave Man glides down as she speeds along with the pack. Why are you running so fast? Hi, Super Captain Brave Man. Mia says, Jack told me all about the animals from the museum. I told my friends and we decided to go on safari to see the animals for ourselves. But Jack and I got separated. Now I have to find him. The cheetahs thought he might be thirsty, so they're taking me to the water. Can I help? Super Captain Brave Man asks. You can if you want to, Mia grins, but you gotta keep up with us. Once they reach the water's edge, Mia sees her friend Nico. He's holding a book in front of three giant tortoise shells. His head is lowered, and he's talking in a rush. Nico, she waves. Have you seen Jack? But Nico doesn't hear Mia. He's busy speaking to the shells. Come on out, he urges. I want to share a story with you. Please come out. Super Captain Brave Man tries to get the boy's attention by placing a hand gently on his shoulder. Nico, did you see Jack pass by? Nico looks up. Oh, maybe? I'm trying to tell the tortoises a story, but they won't come out to listen. Mia tilts her head and smiles at Nico. Maybe they're shy. I get that way too sometimes. And the inside of my mouth is shaped differently than other kids. It's really common for people with
with Down syndrome like us. It can make it hard for others to understand our words, especially when we're excited. Try taking a deep breath. Then read the story slowly, suggests Super Captain Brave Man. Maybe the tortoises will come out then. I can do that. Nico pauses, takes a deep breath, and begins to read again. One by one, the tortoises peek out and grin as they hear Nico's calm voice. When Nico finishes his story, Mia asks again, Have you seen Jack? Yes, I saw him head toward the jungle, Nico replies as he closes his book. Thanks for helping me, Mia. Thanks, Super Captain Brave Man. Mia and Super Captain Brave Man decide to climb a tree to see if they can spot Jack from up high. Just then, they see a boy swinging on vines with a group of monkeys. It's Mia's friend, Tim. Tim, have you seen Jack? Jack is lost. Hi, guys, Tim replies. Yes, I saw him. Great, Mia says. Show us where. Tim's face turns into a frown. Not now. I want to swing. It's swing time. Mia bites her lip and turns to Super Captain Brave Man. We have to get Tim to help us. He's too focused on swinging. It can be hard to change his mind when he's like this. I have an idea. Super Captain Brave Man goes to whisper something to the monkeys. Turning to Tim, he says, I'm going to count down from five. When I get to one, we'll get to the place where you saw Jack, starting now. Five, four, three, two, one. And the monkeys take Tim's hand and swing him nimbly through the trees. Laughs echo across the jungle as Mia and Super Captain Brave Man follow behind Tim and the monkeys. After a few moments, he turns his head and shouts, I think I saw him down here. The group swings down from the trees to the edge of a wide river. Mia glances down at the mud on the riverbank and frowns. Jack was here, she says, pointing at the tracks. I know those are his footprints. Thank you, Tim, for showing us the way. You're welcome. Tim pats Mia's shoulder. I hope you find him soon. Mia and Super Captain Brave Man follow the path of the footprints along the riverbank. Suddenly, they hear splashing in a girl's voice. It's Mia's friend, Penelope. Hey, Mia, Penelope calls out. There you are. Penelope! Mia waves as her friend's drift, friend drifts toward her with a family of hippopotamuses. Penelope grins. We've been looking for you. Jack sent me. He needs your help. Where is he? Mia asks excitedly. There's a small lake down the river. We heard him calling, but we couldn't get to him. Some rocks fell and they're blocking the way. We have to save him. Mia turns, ready to climb a tree to swing to her brother's rescue. Mia, Penelope calls out. The hippos can get us there faster. Super Captain Brave Man is puzzled. Can swimming with hippos really be faster than swinging through the trees? The monkeys were pretty quick. You'll see, Penelope replies. Nothing is faster than a hippo in the water. Nothing can stop them. Nothing can stop us. Penelope tugs Mia's hand and Mia squeezes it back. It's time to swim. Into the water, they all dive. Mia gazes around in awe as the hippos speed down the river. She loves swimming and she follows gleefully as Penelope and the hippos lead the way. They swim for a little longer, then Penelope turns toward Mia and points at the surface. Mia grins. Jack is close. She can feel it in her heart. The lake is behind that rock. The hippos tried to move it, but it's way too big and heavy. Thank you, Penelope. Mia hugs her friend. Turning toward Super Captain Brave Man, Mia asks, You got this, right? That's a pretty big boulder, he smiles. But don't worry, I got it. Super Captain Brave Man sizes up the boulder in front of him. He rubs his hands together, takes a deep breath, and makes a running start. He grabs the boulder with both hands to lift it. Slowly, the big rock starts to rise up higher, higher, higher until... Whoosh! Super Captain Brave Man lifts the boulder above his head. The path is clear. Go get Jack. I'll catch up, he shouts. I gotta find a place to put this. Woohoo! I knew you could do it. Mia runs past him and calls out for her brother. Jack? Jack? There you are! Mia! I knew you'd find me, Jack says. Mia's a real 
heroic hero. You at the whole rescue, Super Captain Brave Man declares. I had a lot of help. I wouldn't have found Jack without you or my friends or the animals. Jack smiles, then reaches into his bag. He pulls out a bright yellow flower and hands it to Mia. I wanted to get you a special gift. The ants told me where I could find it, but I didn't realize how far away it was or that I'd get trapped by mistake. Mia gasps with delight. It's so beautiful. You really are the best brother in the world, Jacko. Mia wraps her arms around her brother and squeezes him even tighter. Now, let's get some french fries. <laughs> Super Captain Brave Man clasps the children's hands. Soon they're all flying through the air toward home. The blue of the river winds through the green of the jungle before making way to the plains. The colors blend together as the sound of wild animals fades in the distance. Mia and Jack wave goodbye to Super Captain Brave Man and call out a very loud, Thank you! Laughs echo behind the children as the sky turns to dust and their adventure comes to a close. The next morning, Kyle is getting dressed with his sister Honor's help. I'm going to make breakfast, she says. Anything special you'd like? How about banana pancakes? He asks with a smile. You got it, Honor laughs. Kyle takes hold of the gait trainer that helps him stand. He thinks about his family, especially his sister Honor, and how much they love each other, just like Jack and Mia. Off with a wink, with a wink at his reflection, Kyle smiles and exclaims, Off to the next adventure. The end. The end. Leah, thank you so much for reading that book to us for our live stream today. It was really, really exciting. I hope that everybody... What's that? Okay. Kara, we're going to ask you to get back onto the Instagram. Um, yeah, don't, uh, uh, don't rush. We're just, uh, we would love to, to have you and the kids back up on our Instagram. Uh, so put in a request and we'll have you join our live stream there. Um, it was really special to have the entire group together. And I do hope that everybody enjoyed book four. Remember, all of the books for Super Captain Brave Man can be found on www.supercaptainbraveman.com. They're also found on Amazon, on Apple Books. Um, you can even buy them on our Facebook page. We do have a shop on our Facebook page as well. And um, while we're uh, getting Kara on there, we're also going to be um, letting everybody know that we are still giving away a t-shirt. Every live stream, we give away a free Super Captain Brave Man t-shirt to somebody who is interested. You just have to tag three of your friends on the post once it goes onto our page, and um, you will be in the running to get this, uh, this t-shirt. We have them in uh, adult sizes as well as in kid sizes too. So. Um, with that, I'm just going to turn up the volume on our Instagram. I'll turn it down on our um, Zoom over here so that everybody can hear you. And um, the kids are just so adorable. Look at these kids. Can you just, we just can't stand them. They're just so adorable. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you everybody for joining us today. We're going to resume again um, in, on Monday. We'll be having our um, next uh, book reading at 2 o'clock. Um, Western time, 5 o'clock Eastern time, and I hope that we can see you all again there too. In the meantime, everybody have a great weekend. Be safe, be happy, and God bless. Bye, Kyle. Bye. Goodbye. Bye, Mia. Bye.